One of the outfits on my studio wardrobe wish list has been a beautiful flowy wrap dress. And I was at Sass Fabrics recently and I came across this 10 yard remnant of this beautiful pastel floral silky fabric. And then I was at a different Sass Fabrics and I was looking through some big bins of remnants and I found the exact same print but in a knit fabric. And there were five yards so of course I had to have them. And I may or may not have done a bit of a happy dance in the aisle at finding two matching prints in different fabrics. Because I photograph clients in a variety of body types and sizes, I want this wrap dress to be very versatile. So I actually have the idea that I'm going to make this wrap dress two separate pieces. I'm going to use this silky fabric to make a beautiful wrap skirt. It will have a nice adjustable waistband to accommodate a variety of waist sizes. And the silky fabric will have lots of gorgeous flow and movement to it. I'm really excited to have this knit fabric for the blouse because it's so comfortable to wear. It will form itself to the body beautifully and visually you'll never know that it's a different fabric than the skirt. I'm designing this as a classic wrap dress. The neckline will form a V with two shallow lapels on the shoulders with gathers coming down. The sleeves will be nice and full down towards the wrist and will come in at a nice cuff. The skirt will be flat around the waist, yet be very full at the hemline. The two front panels will cross over each other, continuing the look of the wrap dress. The oversized sash will tie around the waist to help camouflage the separation between the blouse and the skirt. I folded the fabric and cut out a giant half circle of fabric for the front of the skirt and a giant full circle for the back of the skirt. I like to utilize my serger and traditional sewing machines to take advantage of their unique functionality. My serger finishes off the edges of my fabric so they don't fray. It is also best suited for sewing seams and knit fabrics to maintain give and stretch in the seams. Stitching the skirt pieces together is actually quite simple. The only mistake I could really make is not sewing the right sides of the fabric together, which has happened before. To make the blouse, I utilized a wrap dress pattern and adapted it to my dress design. I made a simple bias tape out of the same fabric to finish off the blouse's neckline. I did not add any permanent closures to the blouse. Instead, I prefer to use safety pins to wrap the blouse on my client to fit their unique body shape. The stretch of the fabric makes it very forgiving. I added an interfaced waistband to the skirt to create a slim, clean silhouette around the waistline. Then I made an exaggerated sash to provide the option of tying a large draped bow at the dress's wrap line. I am so excited about how this illusion turned out of having a wrap dress from a separate skirt and blouse. I overlapped the two front panels of the skirt to visually continue the wrap line from the blouse down to the skirt. I added extra fullness and length to the back of the skirt to give it maximum throw and volume. Having the blouse separate from the skirt makes it super easy to adjust to the different heights of my clients. The extra long sash adds a little bit of drama and it also helps to disguise the separation between the skirt and the blouse. My dear friend Rachel chose this dress as one of several outfits for her contemporary photo shoot. The full skirt and fun colors make this outfit hard to resist. Rachel wore a simple silver and pearl necklace and I photographed her in front of my faux whitewashed brick wall. It wasn't hard to capture Rachel's irresistible personality and energy in this fantastic dress. My family recently took a trip to Huntington Beach, so of course I had to pack a few dresses for some beach photo shoots. I collaborated with Sarah, a talented local model who also works as a dance instructor. Her elegant dancer of movements allowed the dress to gracefully set sail in the cool ocean breeze. And it only seemed appropriate to photograph this dress in a blooming garden of oleanders in the same colors as the dress. We combined natural light and compact flashes to create a beautiful sun-kissed mood. I also had the special privilege of photographing Emily Stewart in this dress. 
Emily is a wife and a mother of four and has had alopecia since she was a young girl. She has spent most of her married life bald and chooses to wear wigs. She recently felt inspired to share her story in an Instagram account called Owning Alopecia. She is very open and candid about her experiences and is an inspiration to those with and without alopecia. I felt humbled and elated to be the first to photograph Emily without wearing a wig. She was nervous, as would be expected, but overcame her fears and allowed herself to be seen. Inspiring women to stand with confidence in who they are and the positive influence they can have on the world is why I am a portrait photographer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes videos like this one, please click the subscribe button. This outfit is part of my studio wardrobe and is available to all my portrait clients. I devote all of my experience, resources, and energy to help my clients feel as amazing and confident as they're going to look. And if you'd like to learn more about scheduling a photo shoot with me, please click on the link to my website below.